Another high yield differential diagnosis topic is nephrotic syndrome. First, proteinuria, edema proteinuria, so those of protein more than 3.5 more than 3.5 gram, edema, hypertension due to sodium retention and lipids. Now, what I'm talking about, I'm talking about kidney problem. This this is basically kidney problem, which part of the kidney glomeruli. What happened to the glomeruli in this case is a disease called nephrotic syndrome now this is nephrotic syndrome you have to know the differential diagnosis first if it is child usually there is a in the child usually there is a um, before, um, usual child suffering from viral disease you will see in the case or maybe Hodgkin disease so now let's go to the another which part of the glomerular which is affected remember this is epithelial cells and the below epithelial cell there is basement membrane okay so look this is the basement membrane on the basement membrane there is food processes this one two three four by the way this is electron microscopy so what's happened in this case there is a basement of food process of this food process will be looks like this as a result of food process problem now this is food processes problem as a result of food process problem there will be a disease in which is the most common congen which is the most common nephrotic syndrome in child called minimal called minimal change disease called minimal change disease okay this is really high high yield and very important in child the second disease if the patient for example suffer from hiv suffer from hiv and look at their glomeruli now the whole not part of the glomeruli is affected so we call this focal or sorry segmental part of it and not all the glomeruli are affected actually part part of them so what is this the, what is this disease now it is part of the glomeruli actually sclerosed so i will call this disease focal segmental glomerulo sclerosis this is the second one the third one which is the most common cause of membranous uh, sorry most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in adult look if the cause is hepatitis b virus maybe or colonic cancer this is very very high yield and important or maybe the patient suffer from sle now again go to the tissue look look again this is epithelial cell epithelial cell epithelial cells what happened on the epithelial cell there is there is look at this look at this so what are these what are these basically these are sub epithelial sub epithelial deposit or domain spike appearance so what are these this is immune complex mediated is type 1 2 3 4 hypersensitive reaction this is type 3 this is type 3 hypersensitive reaction sub epithelial deposit or spike dome appearance i will call now this disease which is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in adult is membranous membranous nephropathy membranous nephropathy now let's move on. now let's let's move again let's move further final final disease look at this hepatitis c virus look at the differentiation it is hepatitis c virus while membranous nephropathy it is hepatitis b virus hepatitis c virus usually is a, a, a it's a kind of cause by the way so here again here again so epithelial cell epithelial cells and below epithelial cells there is basement membrane sorry there is basement membrane and below basement membrane there is endothelial cells why endothelial because here you are now talking about capillary space look at these endothelial cells and on the endothelial cell there is what again there is this deposit one two three so what i will call this deposit now sub endothelial sub endothelial deposit or tram track appearance Trauma tract appearance or sub endothelial disease. This is the first part. This is type one of this disease. So and there is another type for disease. Look at this. In the basement membrane itself, or maybe the deposit will be just goes to the basement membrane itself. Let's make the deposit in the same color which is green. Now I can call this intramembranous because it is the membrane. Intramembranous deposit, or I can call this dense deposit disease and by the way this is immune complex lead to uh, decrease this um, out, out uh, activate complement and it will decrease significant decrease of c3 in case of intramembranous so now i will call these diseases whether type 1 or whether type 2 membrano proliferative glomerulonephritis so again Please, these are these the causes are really important for you. By the way, the most important cause is idiopathic. But these causes are important for you, whether the child with Hodgkin disease, whether HIV, hepatitis B, or C are important for you to know how to answer the question during the day of the test.